A small tech and history lesson for those who don't know, Windows by default doesn't have great audio support for hardware due to Microsoft defaulting to running your audio stuff through their processing. That makes things slow down, makes the playback and sometimes the input delayed and can create a variety of other issues. So the manufacturers have to make drivers to either work with that stuff and optimize it or to redirect the audio stuff to not run through those other processes that slow it all down. At the pinnacle of audio drivers is ASIO. Hopefully I'm saying that right. ASIO, I think, is a system or standard that gets some of the best results for digital audio recording and such due to it being a standard that reroutes the digital information streams to get from the source to the end as streamlined as possible. However, a manufacturer has to make the drivers, or they have to be produced one way or another. ASIO was invented by a company called Steinberg, but that same company also made a general audio driver called ASIO for All. For All was developed to work as a general audio driver for many different devices, I think specifically for ones with typically inferior drivers or just none at all, at least to my knowledge. However, ASIO and ASIO for All are not open source, even though For All is a free tool. Based on a little research, Steinberg protects this code closely, but does offer the ASIO standard to other companies with a licensing fee. I don't know how all of that works, but some companies managed to cut the corner of driver development a bit by utilizing ASIO for all. Apparently some Behringer interfaces do this, but I haven't gotten to work with any of their recording hardware, so I wouldn't personally know. But ASIO for all makes it easier for these companies to get their interfaces up and running on Windows and even have it run optimally and smoothly. 